in this problem we are given a long string and we have to insert spaces between them so when we uh, insert a space in a string we break them into different words and those words should be valid so you will be also given a dictionary so those words should be present in the dictionary so let's see an example then it will be more clear so in this example if you see this is the input string these have different words but there are no spaces so uh, you have to insert the spaces such that each of those components are present in dictionary and there can be multiple valid ways of doing that for example if you insert a space after cat then cat is present here and then sand then dog but cats is also present so you can take this also as the first word and then and and then dog so both are valid so we have to return all such valid sentences not just one so uh, just uh, go through this example uh, it should be clear so here in the first case we take cat as the first word since it's present in the dictionary so the result with that will be cat and the second part is sand dog again repeat the same logic for what should be the first word sand which is present here and next word is dog here we took cats so the remaining is and dog and in this first word is and so here and is there again a space and dog is again present there are no other possibilities so how we will uh, attack this kind of problem so uh, you can start uh, looking at this so you take first character we'll see whether it's present in the dictionary or not it's not so you look at ca again you check whether it's present in dictionary or not then you take three letters and check it's present in dictionary or not and so on so once you found the cat you keep cat and then you pass this in the same recursive function whatever was the original function sand dog and if this function correctly works it will return to it the sentences like this sand dog and it will also return uh, it will just return this and again we will continue again we will find cats so we will keep cats and call this function on and dog again it will return and and dog and whatever is returned we just add a space pick the first word append here add a space pick the second word append here and we can have a list of such sentences so we are just appending this by a space you can uh, also do it in other way so you take the first word of the dictionary so we take the first word from the dictionary and see whether this is the first word or not so whatever is the first word in this s this s itself may be present in the dictionary so we have to return that also so we pick first word from the dictionary and see that whether this s starts with that or not so we pick cat we know that the length of cat is three three characters so we pick the first three characters from this input string and we try to match them so in this case it matches so we know that first word can be cat it may not be valid since uh, this sand dog may be an invalid thing so this complete thing may not be present and also we there is no way of breaking it so just uh, if we get first word it does not guarantee that in the final solution this will be the one of the words so this is another way so we compare cat with the first three characters it matches so we know that first word can be cat so we recursively call on the remaining substring that is sand dog again here what we will see uh, we will iterate through this word dict so we will find uh, pick cat and we will see that whether first three words first three uh, characters matches with cat or not it does not next we pick cats and match here again it does not match next we pick and and first three characters again does not match then we pick sand and we know that sand has four characters so we match first four characters and it exactly matches so we know that uh, first word can be sand and we recursively call this on dog again here cat does not match cats does not match and does not match sand does not match dog it is length is three characters so we pick the first three characters and try to match and it matches so it returns here 
it returns this value dog so here what we will do send was already present we will add a space and dog so it will result into send space dog and this we will pass to further upper level so this was called from here the main function with cats and dog so this function had found cat and called on the remaining uh, suffix of this string so this ultimately returns send and space and dog to this function here so this is returned here so what this will do again add a space and append it so it will form cat send dog so this was right in the beginning so we are iterating through this uh, dictionary in this way like for w in word dict so w was cat in this case we found so we recursively called it so for cat a solution is formed and this is cats and dogs next next w will be cats so we know that cats is four characters long so we try to match first four characters of this and it matches so again it will keep cats here this f and call f of uh and dog again in this call we will try to match with cat cats then and so this and will match with first three characters so it will keep and aside and it will call f of dog and dog will match here so it will return dog so this will form and dog and return to the calling function here so this has cats so it will form cats space whatever val value is returned and dog so again uh, these can return multiple values also and we will append all of them to cats in the form of different sentences so in this case they are returning just one value but this may be possible that cats and this and dog returns multiple values and dog and let's say and ddog let's say ddog is a word so it will return two sentences so it will append cats on both of these and a space followed by this value and finally it's also added to the solution so we have now two solutions one was cats and dog and th this one cats and dog next we look at next word in the dictionary so this loop will continue for all the words next is and we see whether uh, it its first three characters is and or not it's not so go to next word again first four characters do not does not match go to next word again does not match so we are done so these are the only two solutions and we return it so this would work there is only one catch here that uh, we need to store these values so we know that for cats and dogs these two are the solutions this one this thing here and this thing here these two are solutions for cats and dogs similarly for this function had called for f sand dog so what if it's present again also so let's see another example let's say we have a a a a a a a a like this and the dictionary has a a a a a a and a a a a so when we are looking at this we found that a is present here so we know that a can be first word and then we pass then we call the function on this a a a a a a the remaining part so when we keep on solving it so this solution will be for first word as a so we will have a different solutions with this with just this a as the first word followed by some more words like a a and so on and again a a and so on so we will have multiple solutions starting with first word a then a a can also be the first word since it's present here so this part will again match and we are solving for this part but this we would have already solved here so in this case so first we got a then we called on this part and in this part also we got a so we called this part f of 
5 is so we have already solved all the solutions of this and here we are solving it again if we take this as the first word we are directly calling this which we had already solved so you can see dp coming into picture we will be solving it again and again so that's why we will just add one additional cache we can call it dp and we will store this string so this string will be the key and value will be a list of strings or a vector of strings whatever you like so that in the first case when a was the first word we have already considered all the solutions of this and when a, 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 a is first word we will again solve it and this will happen for even more examples when a, a, a is the first word we will solve for four a's which will be solved ultimately here a is the first word and it will call a, a, a. so many solutions will be repeated so that's why this dp this cache is important otherwise logically without cache also that should work so let's write the code for this so first uh, we will not use the cache then we will in introduce that so the return type is vector of a string which is uh, this this is a string this is a one sentence and it's a string and we can have multiple such sentences or strings so vector of string so this is the first word so we know what is its length we will take a substring of that length from the beginning of the string and try to match it so 0 to w dot length and this should match with w if it matches then we have it. w can be potentially first word so once it matches if this may be the uh, we may be calling this on some suffix of this word and ultimately we will reach a case where this is the last word so here we called f of dog and this dog matched with this so in this case the length of this word was same as the length of this string so in that case we can stop here itself we will not need to call further this recursively so that you can add else we will recursively call it so we will call it temp and this function itself on the remaining substring from w dot length till end if we don't specify the second index it's till the end and the word dict so whatever result is returned by this on this suffix of this s we append that to the word since this word was found as the first word of this string we will take it as first word and append all the sentences returned for the remaining string so w plus space plus t that's it and we will finally return result let's run it we have not yet introduced the cache
and you can see this works but again for test cases like that it's likely to fail since we will be solving the same problem again and again and you can see that it fails so let's add our cache so what we will do let's have an unordered map So we are casting if we have solved some for some string what are all the sentences then we will not solve it again so we will add a check in the beginning itself if dp dot find s not equal to dp dot end then return it else we will continue and before returning we will also cache this so this was the solution for this word s yes. and this time the solution is accepted because that kind of scenario will not occur now we will only solve a problem once now let's write the same thing in python so we need to recursively call it uh, we will have a cache here and we will define another function which will be recursive let's call it word break and it takes a string and this word dict word dict will be accessible to this function since we are defining it here so if s in dp return dp s else we will have we will continue result is empty list and the solution is accepted in python as well